Hello friends and welcome to the Architecture Enthusiast and to the Einstein Tower by Erich Mendelssohn, completed in 1921 in Potsdam, Germany. This was one of Mendelssohn's first major projects, completed when a young Richard Neutra was on his staff and is his best known building. Between 1917 and 1920, Mendelssohn created numerous sketches with the attempt to create a structure that reflects Einstein's groundbreaking theories. Between 1920 and 1921, he created a building that was as eccentric and non-traditional as the scientific concepts with which it was associated. It brought Mendelssohn fame and established his position in the debates over what contemporary architecture should look like that preoccupied the politicized cultural circles of interwar Germany. The tower unites a domed observatory with an underground laboratory while housing an unusual optical instrument, an unmovable vertically installed telescope. The requirements for accommodating the delicate optical instruments and other scientific apparatus determined the general elevation and ground plan of the building. Mendelssohn's task was to design only an appropriate shell for the technical equipment. For the young and unknown architect, this was the first opportunity to realize his own architectural ideas. The Einstein Tower project represented Mendelssohn's professional breakthrough, bringing him international recognition. While the scientific requirements of the observatory required a separate foundation for the telescope, the architect had a free hand in designing the architectural shell. He gave the outer facade an organic form with the curves of expressionism and art in vogue. Mendelssohn planned the tower as a pure, reinforced, cast-in-place concrete construction. However, because the technique and the materials were not yet advanced enough, a mixed building technology of concrete and plastered brick masonry had to be used. The effect of a homogeneous concrete structure was achieved with the aid of a fine-grained, ochre-colored plaster finish. The extravagant appearance makes the building difficult to describe. Its fluid, curvilinear, concave, and convex forms let it appear sculptured rather than built, resembling in its shape a windswept submarine with the sprawled arms of a sphinx. Outcroppings on both sides of the building serve as drain spouts. Unusual features include the angled windows placed in streamlined niches which are molded into rounded corners. Stylistically, the building is seen as an example of the art of expressionism, and it has been praised both as an epitome of architectural individuality and as the embodiment of modernity. Mendelssohn referred to the plasticity of his design as dynamism. It is said that Albert Einstein was conservative in his architectural taste and didn't like the building much. After having been shown through the building by Mendelssohn, he gave a one-word review by whispering into the architect's ear, organic. <laughs>